Thanks everybody for coming. This is going to be an hour of code. Who here can tell me what a computer program is? Has anyone seen anything like this before? Yeah, a little bit? Young people now, they're always on their devices and they're consuming a lot of media and content. And we really want to teach them how to create it. We are going to be learning about this really cool thing called pencil code. You'd think asking this group of middle schoolers to write code would be like asking them to calculate a trip to Mars. Okay, so let's call it so. pencil something. But for this generation... Yeah, change the FD. FD? It's negative like 32 code. Cool. Really That's cool. cool. Coding comes easily. Pew, it's still going. That's cool. We should make it go faster. They're what we call digital natives, so they have grown up with this. Um, from when they were a baby. They know how to touch a screen and, and push a keyboard and make things happen on their computer. For the Seattle Public Library, this Hour of Code workshop is a way of connecting these kids to a future that might once have seemed beyond the stars. The premise is that um, everyone should have access to computer science education and everyone should at least try coding for an hour of their life. This is the first time I've done coding. I don't understand it that much, but I wish I did more. I like it for some reason. I don't even know why. So what does the library have to do with computer science? Turns out their mission of lifelong learning and literacy also includes computer literacy. It's part of the broader move in education to equip students with the skills that they're going to need in the 21st century. It's much, much more than reading, writing, and arithmetic. It's those 21st century skills, critical thinking, creativity, collaboration, the literacy skills that come with digital media and communication. So all of our programming for youth is rooted in those philosophies. The computer is not going to do anything without us telling it to do something. <laughs> new philosophies on learning means new philosophies on teaching. This is not your dad's computer class. We, we try and make it as fun as possible, and that's, I think, really good learning tools for technology. You know, it, they make kind of games out of it, so that, that's the way that we approach it, too. But we talked about something that makes that easier for us, a loop. Loop. It's just a way of teaching problem solving. It's not something that everyone's going to do, but it is fun and there's a lot that you can learn from it. Recent surveys show, especially black and Latin Americans, make up a very small percentage of the computer science population. The Seattle Public Library sees a solution right here in this room, a diversified, homegrown workforce in the making, just a few years away. In this region in particular, there are so many tech jobs and there are not enough locally sourced qualified people to take those jobs. So we want to do our part here in the Pacific Northwest, but also it's a national issue as well, to get kids prepared for the future of the 21st century and the types of jobs that are going to ensure that they have success and happiness in life. Having a taste for it early on is, is a really helpful thing. And if you start learning at a very young age, it's obviously going to make a big difference. One hour at a time, one line at a time, these librarians hope again. these kids find that spark that'll change their lives forever. Let's try one of these. I know for a fact that at least one person will probably end up you know, doing this as a vocation based on something that they were introduced to in the library. It will change their lives for the better. So to actually see it click, it's so meaningful. It feels so good. And that's, that's the best part about my job, is when you actually get to see that, you, that you've helped somebody. I thought it was going to be too hard, but I have to first finish college to, do it, to even get near uh, a coding website. But now, like, more doors have opened up thanks to the library. I can do this for hours. Oh, I did it! Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.